Hello Pelican Sound members, head golf professional Tim Harris here. Uh, talking to you today about some of the uh, temporary facilities we have set up, but more specifically the routing of the golf carts. Uh, with the ongoing construction of the clubhouse, we're gonna have to do some temporary routing to get people to the driving range safely, uh, to see the starter safely. So today we're gonna show you the routes that you should be taking. I'm over by the temporary bag drop, as you can see behind me here. Um, so, you know, when you drive your car up, drop your bag off, uh, if you're in the bag drop area, what's the best way to get to the driving range? Well, Kurt is behind me here. He's gonna show you the best way to get there. We have uh, a cut through now set up over here by the curb. And as you can see, as we pan over to the right here, Kurt's gonna follow this path that takes him through the curbing. And you will notice some temporary fencing that has been put up we're going to be probably have this fencing up for four to six weeks. So in the meantime, we're going to have this route going up here to the left of the putting green. And he's going to move on up toward the driving range. So what we'll do now is we'll head up to the top of the driving range and show you how you can park your car in the, in the safest manner. Okay, so we're up on the driving range now and Kurt's making his way up this way. Uh, the temporary... Uh, traffic is going to get us across the mats here and you'll notice that uh, as he goes across the mats he's going to park on the driving range very similar to what we do when we have our shotguns um, that way he can park the cart not be in the way not have any congestion when we have traffic that's heading over to lakes number one um, if you'll notice the ropes kind of go all the way down the uh, turf of the driving range to head back towards lakes number one so if you're driving to lakes you're gonna stay on this uh, grass cart path, so to speak, down around the back of the clubhouse behind the temporary fencing over by the chipping area. And if you wanted to go over to River One or to Sound One, you're gonna go back over this way to get there. Um, golf balls are gonna be set up on the right side of the range as I'm facing the water here. So you can hit golf balls over here on the right side, park your carts over here on the left side. Uh, Aubrey and Chet, our starters, are now going to be more mobile. They're not going to be in the uh, starters hut because that is behind the, the temporary fencing. So you'll look for the starters up here on the driving range as you come. One thing to keep in mind is that it could get very congested over here as you go to the uh, left side. So try to park your carts in a way where you can be able to get in and out uh, safely. You can see Aubrey over here right now directing traffic and trying to get everybody to park their carts uh, so that they can get out and he'll be able to uh, call you either with a bullhorn or he'll be walking around to get you over to um, the first tee. Putting green is still not going to be affected uh, and there also could be some uh, traffic over by the um, back of the putting green. You can see uh, this cart going back over towards Sound and River One. We're going to try to keep traffic to a minimum, minimum as far as two-way traffic going up here. Uh, we'd like to have most of the traffic as you go to, towards the uh, courses to be either down the path here to my right, going to lakes, or down the driving range over here to my left as you head towards River and Sound. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a better illustration of what we're doing here. Uh, again, this is temporary. It's going to take four to six weeks for the uh, brick pavers to be put down in the staging area, and that's why we have the, the temporary fence around there right now. And once that's completed, uh, we're going to move the bag, store, bag drop area back over to its original position and uh, hopefully that'll alleviate some of the traffic that we're going to experience here in the next four to six weeks. But most importantly, we want you to be safe, follow all the signs, follow the ropes, and try to drive slowly when you're going through this area. And uh, us as a golf staff will be around to hopefully guide you in the right direction. Okay, everyone, thank you very much and be safe here at Pelican Sound.